In this problem, we're told to calculate the speed of a satellite moving in a stable circular orbit about the Earth at a height of 5,800 kilometers. So keep in mind we're trying to find the speed. And so you can find the speed of a satellite uh, moving in a stable orbit right around the Earth, or any planet for that matter, by just taking the square root of g, which is your gravitational constant, multi multiplied by the mass of whatever your planet is or whatever your circle uh, going around, right? In this case, it's the Earth, so I'm just going to call it Me, right? The mass of the Earth uh, divided by uh, the radius, which essentially is the distance between your satellite and the center of your planet. So this is radius, but just think about it as a distance. So let me go ahead and draw what's going on because I think it's going to paint a better picture of how this works. So imagine this right here is going to be our Earth. So this is the Earth, right? Imagine it's a perfect circle, but... So this is going to be the center of the Earth, and so we know uh, this satellite is going to be moving in an orbit uh, about the Earth at a height of 500 or 5,800 kilometers. So if this is the surface, right, it's going to go up 5,800 kilometers. So this distance right here, 5,800 kilometers, and this is going to be our satellite. And so we know it's going to be going around in a circle. This isn't a good circle, but imagine it's going around in a circle like this. And so R for this equation is going to be this total distance right here, right? Imagine this is our entire circle, so this part right here is the radius. And if we want to find that distance, uh, keep in mind we have this distance right here, but we need this distance. And this distance right here is just the radius of the Earth. So just keep that in mind when we're trying to solve this. So let's look at the different variables we need to solve this. So the first thing we need is g, right? And so g is just the gravitational constant uh, throughout the universe. And so this is just a number you need to memorize, which is 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. So that's a number you need to memorize. Next, we need the mass of our planet. In this case, it's the Earth, so Me, right? And so this is another uh, number you have to memorize, which is 5.98 times 10 to the 24. And so this is in kilograms. And so now what we need is the radius, right? So this whole distance right here. And so how do we find that? So we need the radius of the Earth, and we need, uh, we got to add it to this, right? And so if we want to do that, what you want to do is first let's write down the radius of the Earth. So the radius of the Earth is equal to 6.38 times 10 to the 6th meters. And so all these are estimations. Uh, this is what my teacher uses, but whatever your teacher wants you to use, I recommend using whatever they tell you. But these are just general uh, constants of what we use, but they might differ depending if your teacher wants them to be more accurate. So just keep that in mind. But this is going to be the radius of the Earth, right? So... Uh, here's our radius of the Earth, and we need to add it to this to get the entire radius, right? So the height, I'm going to call it h, right? So this is h, uh, is equal to 5,800 kilometers. So the total radius, r, is equal to re plus h. So we need to add these two numbers together. So I'm going to convert this into meters, right? Because notice how this is in meters, uh, this is in kilometers, so we got to convert it to meters. And so it's essentially equal to 5.8 times 10 to the sixth meters, right? Because this is essentially 5 million or 5.8 million meters. And so just changing it, or I think it is, but just changing it into scientific notation, you should get 5.8 times 10 to the sixth meters. And so now all we have to do is just add them up. So the radius is equal to, uh, and notice whenever you want to add them up, like scientific notation, you generally want to have their exponents be the same. It just makes it a lot easier. So we have the radius of the earth, which is 6.38 times 10 to the 6th plus the height, which we know is 5.8 times 10 to the 6th. So that's going to be our new radius. And if you add these up, you just got to add this and this, right? So 6.38 plus 5.8, uh, you're going to get 12.18 and then just times 10 to the 6th meters. So this right here is going to be our radius now. So keep in mind, we have the radius, we have uh, the mass of our planet, and we have the gravitational constant. So we can actually go ahead and solve. So let's go ahead and do that. So uh, velocity is going to be equal to the square root of g, which we know is 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11, multiplied by the mass of the Earth, right? 5.98 times 10 to the 24. And then you're going to want to divide that by your radius, right? So this distance right here, which is what we solve for, divided by 12. And keep in mind, this is all in the square root. So divided by 12.18 times 10 to the 6 meters, right? So 
Now we've got this, and essentially we just have to solve this. So if you go ahead and solve this, you should get that it equals about 5,722, and then keep in mind velocities meters per second. So it might differ this answer a little bit depending on which, uh, which constants you use, if you use a little bit more exact or a little less exact, but this right here is going to be about your answer. Uh, and yeah, so this right here is your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.